almost intensifies the hot sauce, doesn't it? <laughs> that's it. <laughs> a little bit, but I thought it took away. Oh, okay. Really? Let's try that again. That's interesting. It's Chinese New Year. Let's have some turnip cake and find out which tea that goes best with it. everyone, um, welcome. Uh, we are um, going to talk about Chinese New Year and we, uh, the purpose of us sitting here today is we're going to be doing a pairing with one of my favorite foods served in Chinese New Year. Sitting next to me here is um, Brian, he's been a long-term uh, customer here. He just came in to buy some tea so I actually invited him to sit down and do a uh, pairing with us today. So uh, Chinese New Year, why turnip cake is um, a traditional food in Ch during Chinese New Year is because uh, that's one of the seasonal pro uh, produce that you find in the market and also they keep very well in the fridge uh, as um, one of the tradition is that um, during Chinese New Year you're not supposed to be doing a lot of cutting with knife, uh, walking with food, uh, you just do wee heat uh, and just make fry things and things like that because the kitchen should be kept fairly, uh, not too much action in it. And turnip cake, uh, besides keeping well, is a uh, food that people are uh, very easy to serve among friends. They are cut in small pieces and also pair up nicely with tea. I uh, have picked two teas that we're going to try together so you can be the judge or see which one that tastes, um, that pairs up better with it. So turnip cake is made with uh, turnip, of course, and also has uh, rice flowers in it. What else is in it is uh, Chinese sausage, uh, you can put mushrooms, you can put cilantro. Uh, this one is, I didn't make it, if you, <laughs> that's your question, but I intend to make it. My mom has just given me her recipe. So I wanted to make this uh, later on to share with um, some of you. <laughs> Do you drink a lot of Ayam Buddha or you drink more of green tea? I remember you, you're coming in for some jasmine as I know. Yes. Um, more the green teas. Oh, okay. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Yeah. So now a different tea for you. Now another thing during Chinese New Year is that um, uh, the street markets are closed for a minimum of three days. The first three days is a, a very quiet. Uh, people just will go out and do their, we call it Bai Lin. Bai Lin is one of the New Year's greetings. So people go to uh, their friends and family's home and this is, would be the food they uh, mostly like to serve because it's easy, they just cut it up and then just fry it and then they pair it with uh, uh, tea. So, I have a bowl for you. As another tradition that we will always serve our guests the first piece. That's yours. Thank I'm you. sure you know how to use chopsticks. I've got the instructions somewhere. <laughs> so what you get, before we taste the food, just get a little sip of the tea and then we can taste the food. Okay. So tea etiquette, yum cha. Yum cha is drink tea. Oh, okay. Yeah. Drink tea. Yum cha. <laughs> yum cha. <laughs> now, Iron Buddha, this one, you taste a little bit. Um, it's on a delicate side, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you taste a little bit more roasted flavor, so I, um, again, I'm, I'll let you be the judge on how it tastes with the turnip. And then we're gonna try it with another tea type called pu'er. Mm -hmm. Then you can do a comparison. Um, pu'er is also, uh, I find personally that pu'er is good with a very greasy food, like deep fried, um, or heavy texture food. Uh, the turnip cake is a little bit dense, but then it's uh, on a lighter side. So that's why I like it. Um, I don't want the uh, tea that overpowers the in complexity of the turnip cake. So um, that's my opinion. But you, I let you be the judge. Mm. Mm. It's a little bit on the cold side, but typically should be fairly hot. Yeah. Ooh, it's good. Yeah. You see how that that it, it cleanses your palate immediately. Mm -hmm. you, now you're ready for a second bite, right? 
It, like you don't have that lingering. It doesn't overpower the turnip. It's uh, it's there. So turnip cakes. There's two ways to prepare it. Typically, frying is one common way. We also steam it. Mm -hmm. Steam it would be for people more, I guess, more health conscious. You just want less oil and not no fried food. Then that's another option. But then they would pour a soya sauce on it, so it become more salty. Mm -hmm. Then that's why it's also good to pair up with a tea that would cleanse your palate. So that's the iron Buddha, and now I'm gonna make the pu'er. Okay, so my our next one, uh, we're gonna try it with the pu'er, and then I'll make a brew of each tea, and we'll try it together. Okay, and please tell me which one works better for you in terms of um, how you're feeling how it cleanses your palate for the next bite mm -hmm. and how it enhances the flavor of the food. Okay, so this one is a cooked puer that I have prepared here. We were taught to drink tea in a very hot temperature because uh, that tastes the best. But at your discretion, you don't okay. need to burn your tongue today. <laughs> okay, yum cha. Let's just do a little cleansing with, uh, with this first. Yep. Very earthy. Ooh, yeah. Okay, now let's try this with our turnip cake. What do you think? Oh yeah, right away. It takes over. Yeah. Do you find it actually takes over? It does. Yeah. <laughs> Now I'm gonna. I'm interested in trying it with um, hot sauce. So I want to see how that changes the flavor too. It's very interesting when you do pairing. You have to uh, keep trying. Even sometimes we try different strength of tea. So this one obviously is a regular. You can try uh, stronger. You can try weaker, and how it changes the flavor. You okay with the hot sauce? Yes, yes. I'm okay. Very much. Okay. Perfect. Okay, let's do this. All right. Hot sauce. Mm. So this hot sauce has a little bit of sweetness to it. Ooh. See, heat comes after. Mm. Okay, I'm top. Okay. Interesting. I find almost intensifies the hot sauce, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. A little bit, but I thought it took away. Oh, okay. Really? Let's try that again. That's interesting. Mm. Well, it's just the heat of the tea. I think is for me. <laughs> By the way, there isn't a wrong answer, is it? Their, their pairing is very different, and depending on the individual and their experience, and you know things like that. Mm. Okay. Oh. <laughs> this time, this time it intensified. I think I had a little bit more hot sauce than you did the first time. Yeah, exactly. You wow. You had a lot more than I did here. So. That is super interesting. <laughs> okay, let's do a side by side now. It makes the tea really smooth after, <laughs> like ultra smooth. Yeah. Wow. Okay. How are you doing with that? One more oh, piece? Yeah. Okay. Now, our final try is that we're gonna do uh, no hot sauce yet. We're gonna try side by side with each of the tea. So we have the iron Buddha here. We also have the uh, cooked pu'er here. So side by side, that's, um, so you cup, please. Mm. Mm. Okay. Yum yum. I find it very fruity yes. in this brew. Yeah. Comes up. Okay. You can do this with puer. Okay. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs>
without the hot sauce, it's a lot more cleansing. Mm, yes. Uh, I'm going to try this one with Iron Buddha and hot sauce. Okay. 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 With Iron Buddha hot sauce. What do you taste? Didn't intensify that much. I, I think I had a little bit less hot sauce, so yeah, it's good. Yeah, but yeah. which tea would you say goes better with the turnip cake? Uh, Okura. Okay. Yeah. We actually have different answers. I like the Iron Buddha better. <laughs> but again, <laughs> there's no wrong answer. It's a matter mm -hmm. of preference and how you like it, a mouthfeel of it, right? So it's very personal. Why do you choose pu'er? Um, I just like the, the smoky flavor, I guess, and, and especially with the hot sauce, it, it brought out a little bit more, a little bit more fire to the bite. So, oh, yeah. so yeah. you like that intensity? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. I find um, I'm uh, when I pair it with Iron Buddha, I taste the turnip a little bit more. Um, so and the Chinese sausage just in it too. So I taste the, each ingredients a little bit more. Um, more so I know the ingredients what's in it and also um, that um, I find it cleanse my palate really well it uh, didn't cold my palate at all mm -hmm. so my choice was I'm Buddha mm, Brian's choice was to wear yeah. like I said I have the family recipe for a turnip cake and I wanted to I'll be making a few um, during Chinese New Year will uh, some of you like to get a little taste of that, come down and uh, we will share as uh, uh, some of you and um, the dates uh, will be posted on our social media. And so we'll see you in the next chapter of my favorite traditional food. Thank you and thank you for coming today. Thank you. Thank you and that's for you, uh, oh. great participant today. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a comment below. For more tea content, like, subscribe and share. Cheers. <laughs>